The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Obviously, it was a bit of a concern because we were playing without Patrick, who um, has a viral bronchial infection, whatever, something. Um, so, um, obviously, you guys know what he means to our basketball team, but we have 12 other young men on scholarship that's more than capable that we hold to the highest standard as well. And we expect um, instant results once they uh, step on the floor. So it was really good for them to get an opportunity to play without them because, you know, in this marathon of a season, there will be times where he may get in foul trouble or, you know, we have to be on the basketball floor without him. And it gave them a, a dose of confidence as well. I thought Dewan Graff was incredible. He was playing to a different rhythm. And I thought that was really – instrumental for him because he came back from the Christmas break. You know, normally when you go home and eat grandma's sweet potato pie and potato salad, it can slow you down and you come back sluggish and you're kind of out of shape. But he, 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 you can tell he did a lot of work, and that's just basically a carryover or microcosm of what he did um, at home. So, you know, in that, in that regard, I was proud of the guys. And, um, you know, I heard him mention about us having to grow up. We have to grow up. Um, we have to stop making mental mistakes. We have to stop throwing the basketball away and having unforced and careless turnovers and missing assignment basketball and so on and so forth. So we have to grow up and, and if we truly want what's destined for us. Question. The one thing you can switch his shoes to, he has a new sneaker. I'm glad he did. I, I, like these, these kids, man, they – it's so much they go online shopping before they play basketball. So, you know, they got the AI band. I mean, it's it's everything, man. They gotta have the kit. So if he if he switched shoes and it made him have twenty six and seven, then I'm gonna make sure he wear those shoes every game. Uh but he, he did a phenomenal job. Was it one of those nights early on you could tell he had it going against Yeah, you can always tell. Well, I can always tell. I I've been a part of it long enough to once I see you practice you know, leading up to the to the game, I, I know what kind of mental state you're in. And he had two incredible practices. He was always first in, in sprints. And I just thought he was ahead of everyone from a conditioning standpoint when he went home. I mean, I know he got some of Grandma's sweet potato pie, but he also went out and, and worked out. And I think we had a seven-day stretch where we were, we were off. That's probably the longest since I've been here. And the other guys probably didn't come back in, in as good a shape as him. And it definitely reflected in his play tonight. You guys only had yeah. Did, did you kind of are you kind of like you got a game like this against no, no, no disrespect to them but yeah. level opponents to kind of get those that rust out the way over the Christmas break? Yeah, um, you know, it's it was it's so hard for us to schedule that we kind of just got to play some, you know, where we can and strategically, you know, I didn't want a a D1 opponent right after the break. Um, you know, I wanted the guys to have a chance since we've been on that road for so much to really have a chance to enjoy their families and, you know, just get away from the game for a while and recharge their batteries. And, um, you know, I told them we'll come back the day after Christmas, but we had to go twice a day. So those two days were kind of brutal, especially for them. Um, you know, it was a lot of running, a lot of conditioning. And, you know, just trying to get back in the flow. And some guys, as you can see, they're still not in the flow in the proper way. But we're going to get at it tomorrow and hopefully, you know, try to um, sharpen our sword, you know, before conference play pick up. I think uh, the team came out and played pretty tough today. We uh, got a good win. You know, we're coming from break and having a week off. So we just still trying to get things right and fix our mechanics and stuff like that. Since you got a career high, will you wear those for the rest of the year? <laughs> yeah, I've been wearing these for the last couple of games. I was looking for some new shoes, actually. So that's the ironic thing about it. Looking so, for, some, yeah. Does it really make a difference I mean, to, your, to your confidence or to your mojo? You, you, know, you get some new shoes and start heating up. And, <laughs> you, you super uh, no, not really. But I was looking for new shoes just because I needed comfort, just because my feet bad. So I was trying to find some new comfortable shoes. What was working for you? Like, did you feel it early and, and feel you have a, a pretty good night like uh, coach was just talking about us being better as a team and being better uh, this semester because this is like a start of a new season. So I just wanted to come out and give it my all tonight and just play hard, do what coach asks. Talk about um, the break. Uh, I mean, the start to the season has been yeah. a lot of ups and downs, big games on yeah. the road, and then, of course, everything going on with school and everything like that. What, was, what, what did you do for the break uh, for relaxation and maybe get away from the game a little bit, or, or did you? Uh, during the break, I just spent time with family, really. But every day I still got in the gym. 
you know, getting shots up at least and again, getting a little cardio in just to stay in a little bit of shape. Because I knew when we came back that first week, it was going to be a tough week back in practice. We had one practice, first day we got back, and then two yesterday. So we were just really getting our cardio back in. Uh, I got a, I got some bod spray, <laughs> I got some Axe, and then I got a, a jacket, a Helly Hansen jacket. So I think those three gifts is my favorite. Pat, <laughs> without, without Pat being here, did you guys know you had to be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end? Yeah, I think uh, everybody had to step up knowing that our leading score was out. But I know Coach just told us about just being better, everybody being better. So we all tried to be better this game. I know you probably didn't realize it, but at one point, I didn't even realize that. I really didn't even realize. I was just trying to go out there and play my game, really. That's it. And then the second half, you became more facilitated. Yeah. Yeah. Was that uh, intentional? Yeah. Did you make a conscious effort to kind of contribute the ball more second half? Uh, coming into the game, I wanted to make my teammates better because I wanted to do a better job of that this semester. So when I came out, I just trying to find them when they was open. And they was hitting shots for me, so they really helped me out. Yeah, one more game before conference play. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm really confident in our squad. We just got a lot of growing up to do. We got to be more disciplined. Um, I know last year when we played in the conference, we lost a, a lot of close games. So I know this year everybody's going to play us tough. It's going to be the Super Bowl when we play them. So we just got to be disciplined and more mature than them and play our game. I just think it was a great team win. Uh, like Coach said, it's hard. Um, after, after a long break like that, you don't really know how your team's going to respond. But I think we came out, played hard, executed, and and uh, the guys stepped up that don't normally get as many minutes because Pat was out. And I think it's going to help us in the long run. When did you find out you were starting for Pat? Uh, I found out yesterday at practice when I, I – actually, after practice, I, uh, I texted him, and he said he was in the hospital. And I was he was like, I'm not going to play tomorrow. So that's when I found out. Did you, did you come out – Wanted to blend in with the guys, or are you trying to be more extra aggressive because you knew you had to make up uh, that role with Pat? Oh, no. Nah, I actually, like Coach said, uh, Coach Coach is big on uh, rhythms, you know, and I feel like the second, like the end of the first half of the season, I was, you know, I was playing a little timid and, you know, thinking a little too much. In this game, I just wanted to go out and, and play loose and just try to get a rhythm going for, for conference. I'm sure it helped to see those first couple ones going into the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, I took I took a couple of days off, but my mom is actually a high school basketball coach, and she's a pretty pretty big critic. So we got in the gym, got a lot of shots, and she was just like, just keep your confidence, just you know, believe in yourself, and play hard every possession. Did you tell the difference as opposed to coming off the bench as opposed to starting the game? Uh, yeah, that's actually my first start, like in college. So I mean, I didn't I just try not to think too much about it, you know, just. Go out, like I said, play every possession at a time, leave everything out on the court. We see your teammates get a couple of career highs out there today. DeLon Graff and Will Ransom with career high rebounds, and yourself with career high uh, points here mm -hmm. in North Carolina Central. How did it feel out there today, offense going the way it was? Oh, it felt great, man. It felt great. Um, uh, what people don't really realize is DeWan does that every day of practice. He destroys people. Uh, Will as well. He plays hard. Um, I think, like I said earlier, this was a, this was a great win for us to help uh, Dewan uh, gain some confidence. You know, a little more confidence, and Will as well. So. Um, to be honest, coach is a coach is a tough coach, but. My mom is probably two times worse <laughs> than Coach. <laughs> yeah, she's the biggest critic of my life. You know, uh, she she keeps keeps it real with me. You know, she lets me know when I'm doing well. She lets me know for sure when I'm doing bad. You know, so but I mean, it's my mom. So you know. How often does she get to see you play? 
Uh, she actually watch. Well, whenever they don't have games and stuff, she's watching every game online or, you know, she comes up whenever she can because it's only a three-hour drive from my hometown. So, yeah, she's she likes basketball a lot more than me. <laughs> she's a big basketball fan. So, when you're on the floor, do you hear her and Milk or do you kind of tune out? Man, I have to, I have to tune them out because, I mean, like Coach said, my problem is thinking too much, you know. I just, I just try to play hard and get lost in the game, you know, and just try to execute and know, like you said, make winning plays, you know. That's why I came here from Coastal, try to get back to the NCAA tournament. So my main goal is just do whatever he say, whether it's shoot from half court or dive on the floor to get a ball. I'm just trying to get back to the tournament. Who's definitely on your team, her or uh, Coach Moulton? Uh, Coach Moulton. I think Coach Moulton. Just because Coach Moulton, of course, he's, he's you know, his basketball mind is a little stronger than my mom's, you know, so he kind of jumps on me a little more. My mom is just all the basic stuff, like hold your follow through, um, play hard on defense, crash the boards, where Coach Moulton is more like jump to the ball, you know, get over the screen, bump, and stuff like that. But. Oh, that's good because you're in trouble with your mom, man. Oh, no. Nah. How did it feel to get back on the court after this long break? Oh, it felt great, man. I couldn't wait. Um, just sitting at home, I got to enjoy family, and I, I put in a lot of work while I was at home, so it just felt good to, you know, get back out here. I guess with a mom, with the coach, you can get, you can get to the gym anytime you want. Anytime, to. yeah, anytime. Yeah. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.